Well, welcome everyone to another session of Nystrom Education, and we're looking at Stratologica today. And today we have with us Miss Melissa Knowles, and she's going to be sharing with you. And I'm just going to turn it over to Melissa and let her get started. So, Melissa, again, thank you for being here, and thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you so much, Pam. I'm so excited to show you projects in Stratologica. It's a great way for collaboration and for engaging students in their learning. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is what the student will see when you create a project. After that, we're actually going to go in and play with a project and add things to a project as a student would. Then I want to show you how easy it is to create a project. So when a student logs in, as you can see, this student is logged in here. At the yellow arrow, you see a number one by shared. That means something has been shared with a student, whether it's by another student or by you. Here is when you click the one, then it opens up. It says, me, the teacher, has included this student in a project, Alabama, from 1914 to 1945. And you can see the three dots and three lines. When you select that, it allows a student to then view or delete the project. So if you select to view, it actually takes you to the Maps page. So you can select either Maps and Explore if they know they have a project that could go th straight through there and not even um, go to the shared if they wanted to, or you can select View. When that's selected, it comes to the normal Stratologica Maps pull-out screen of the Earth. So to access the project, you're going to select the gallery. One of the great user-friendly features in Stratologica is that the latest thing that was added to the gallery is at the top. So it's super easy to find what projects are there. Of course, you can reorganize, um, but I love that feature. It's great for my students. They don't have to search through a lot of things. Um, so then when the title is selected, it opens up the project information. So the student can then see what um, the title, the type, and the description of the project. So then we are going to select the shared project and click open at the bottom right of the screen. Now it's open to the view that I have selected for the students. You can see that the students then have some options. So on the right you can see uh, the description, you can see what other students are included in this project. Um, the I next to each student allows the student to then turn off or on other students' work. So as the students begin to add things, they can then see what other students are adding, which increases their learning and also completes the project as it's outlined. So I love this part of Stratologica in that the students then have control over the project. So even though that they're working on their own device individually, it real time adds in other students' work. They can collaborate even if they're not in the same room with each other. So it's a wonderful feature. You can also see the upper arrow, it is pointing to a note page. So that shows that there is a note on attached with this project. So, all right. Down in the bottom right, you can, I'm sorry, the bottom left, you can see the toolbox is opened. This, as a student, would be adding in different things. This project specifically is going to ask the students to add in a pin drop with some primary source document or video to attach to the project. So the toolbox allows the students excellent ways to show what they know, a multitude of ways. They can write, they can add in symbols, text, so many different things to then teach or show the teacher what they know.
All right, so in this project, the students are including a pin. So I've selected the pin, as you can see, and this opens up the title and description page. You can also add in styling, which makes the pin color different, and you know that when um, you add in a pin, you want to contrast the color of the map. You can also increase the size and color and change the color of the title with styling. Now, I've included a title, Great Migration, which happened during this time period in Alabama. So, I'm going to then select Web Resource because we're adding in a picture, some sort of primary source document, or video. So then, as I have found the document or the web resource I would like to add, all I need is its embed code or media URL to paste into that box. And then the great thing about Stratologica, it shows you that, that whatever you've embedded into the project is there. So you have no question about whether it got put in or not. So then all you would do is click Done, and your pin would be added. And you can see it right up there in between Memphis and Chattanooga. So... As the students are working, they have all the resources in Stratologica to utilize to show what they know. They also then get to see, as we said, with the eye, what the other students are doing. So if you see the arrow on the right, you've also got the refresh button, and that will then um, sync up with what other players have added. So if you're not seeing something, you can click that refresh button, and then the students then can collaborate in real time um, and refresh and update their page as needed. And also, you definitely want to not forget to save your work. So under Action, you've got Save and Save As. Um, send to all your buttons that are going to allow you to work with the project that you have created and save it. So the next thing that we're going to do, um, you can see how easy it is for the students. As the students get used to Stratologica and using the toolbox, this is going to be no problem for them to come into and then add things to a project and actually work together. It's also a great thing that we've used for students that are beginning because it, then they're working together, they're figuring things out together, and it's a great way to then also learn Stratologica. And the projects are so easy, simple to create that you're going to really enjoy giving them to your students. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you a username and password as a student, and I would like for you to then go in as the student and Follow the directions, which you'll see in the notes um, for your project, and add in the items that are asked of you, and then we'll get to see what it looks like as a teacher from what you've added. Okay, Melissa, it looks like everybody is about finished with their projects. Would you like to go ahead now and show us what some of those would look like? All right. So... We're going to now look at the building process of a project in Stratologica. So here we go. So as the student, as the, I'm sorry, apologize. Um, I don't know if you can cut that out, but we actually would have already talked about the um, what the project looked like after the. Okay. Uh, we, sorry, we did that during the during that time period and so now we're just going into what it looks like to build and then I got all flustered so can you are you able to cut that out I I will certainly try okay all right so as a teacher when you're going in to build a project in Stratologica you can see the benefits of the end product now so I want to show you now just how simple it is to create a project so what I've done is I've just gone into Maps. I've adjusted my view to the view that I want the students to use. So I really wanted the students to see Alabama 
and be able to place their pin anywhere where the event occurred. So to do that, I used the three sheets of paper on the left-hand side and chose the 50 states map and then simply zoomed in on Alabama. So once you've adjusted your view and you have your location where you want it, now you're going to look at the yellow arrow. I've chosen new and that dropped down two options, presentations and projects. So you're going to select project. So now if you'll include then just a title and a description. The description can be, as I chose, um, some information about the project or it can be your instructions. I like to put the instructions in a note um, for my students to refer back to easily and communicate. So uh, either way is fine though as long as the students know where to find the requirements so they can check over and make sure they've included everything that you've asked. So we're going to insert a title and description and then select save. So now you have basically created your project and now we're just adding in the students and any notes and information you want to give to your students. So under action you can choose assign note. The assign note feature is great for acute for communicating with the project members. So you could remind them of due dates, you could see that one student hasn't really contributed a whole lot and question that. Maybe they're doing different jobs, maybe they're doing the research part. You can really keep up with what each student is contributing um, through Stratologica and then communicate through the notes. So I really enjoy um, giving them positive feedback through the notes and um, definitely reminders about deadlines and things that they may have not included. So if you select action, add note is right at the bottom and on the right hand side you can then see that how simple it is to add a note. All you're going to do is type it into the box. So enter in the project details or whatever you want to include in your note at this time. So you can see that I've added that note and then I'm just going to click, click save. So now you can see right next to the project title the sheet of paper which shows that there's notes added. So that just lets the student know right there that there's something that they need to check. And if you look in the right, the way to get out of the note screen is simply just to click that X. So now we need to edit users. We've got to have some students in our project. So if you select edit users, it then opens up your available recipients. And depending on how you have um, organized your students or they have been organized for you, um, you will get a drop down of your available recipients. So I chose to just use my colleagues. So then you have all of the students available to you in that group. In the center, you can see your arrows. You've got your single arrows where you can just select certain students and send them over, whether it's one or three. Uh, you can send just those students over. You can also use the double arrows to send this entire group over. So you can also, if you need to remove, someone's not working well with that group or they've moved, you can also remove a student from the project using the arrow pointing back to your available recipients. So. I chose some students to add to this project and then all you would do is click invite. So the interactive learning will now begin. They will then get their shared notice on their screen and they can begin working on the project. 
So it really is that simple to create a project for students. You can see the time is not extensive, but the learning will be as they add in their details and their learning to the project. So if you'd like to know more about Stratologica, there's so much that you can do with this program. You can look at the website www.nystromeducation.com slash learning to access any of the past webinars that you can use to learn different applications of Stratologica. There's also a great self-guided course that is available in your community. Simply search in the community Stratologica 101, add it to your gallery, work on your own time, and you can get CEU credit for that. As always, Pam Gothart is a great resource for you. Just email her anytime at pgothart at nystromeducation.com.